Welcome to Just EYG. Welcome to JustEYG.com. This is Z68 Keen bringing you part three of the campaign walkthrough for DXs uh, on Just Give Me DXs level of difficulty. So here we go, part three. You don't want to come in and come down the right side staircase here. Let this son of a gun go. Do his thing. You're going to crouch behind this wall right here. Um, sorry for rushing right into it. I didn't leave uh, enough of a video before I got started to uh, let you know too much of what was going on here. So basically right here we're going to listen to the conversation. He's going to walk back. Um, guys, I will be posting videos all day. This is the day of the release for the game. Um, so pretty much keep checking back every three to four hours because it takes about two hours to upload in high definition for you guys. But I will be pretty much posting non-stop. Um, as soon as one upload gets done, I'll be putting another one up. So they're going to have their conversation. Everybody's going to kind of spread out here. You're going to wait for this guy to kind of come back. And the trick to this is you want to catch him pretty quick as he passes uh, Dennis. You have to pick him up and drag him behind this wall as quick as possible. Um, otherwise, you will get spotted. And we really don't want that to happen. So we'll pick him up, drag him back here. Alright, let the guys reposition themselves, as you can see right there on the mini-map. As soon as that guy turns and looks away, you're free to go. We're going to continue down the hallway here to this little red door. Now, it says this door is heavy and loud, but uh, we can get in here just fine. Uh, I was out of energy, so I'm just going to stun him instead. Alright, so... Go ahead and loot. Loot these bodies. I'm showing you how to get through this and pretty much kill as many people as you can. Um, this section right here actually did take quite a while for me to figure out exactly how to make this happen. Um, so we're going to go up here. You're going to notice that the guy is kind of... you got two right in front of you. He's going to move back, but he's still looking at you. And uh, we're going to wait for him to actually walk away. Both the other guys in the far end of the room will turn and face the far end of the room. Um... I don't suggest trying to do a knockout or a kill here. Just go ahead and use your taser and, and knock this guy down. It's quick. You can uh, grab a hold of him. And you got to start dragging him almost immediately. This is almost time based. Um, if you don't get him around this corner in time, you will be spotted. Um, if you guys like these videos, please leave comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, anything helps out. Alright. So, now here comes the lengthy part. We're going to let him go ahead and search. We're going to walk up in behind this uh, unit here, I guess. I don't know. It looks kind of like an air conditioner, if you ask me. Um, and we're going to kind of sit here and wait for a half a second. Doing this, I'm also going to show you how to defuse the bomb. Or get to defuse the bomb without killing everybody in the process. Uh, I went ahead and elected for the stun here. Uh, just because I don't know how much time I have for that guy over on the far side turns around. So I'm going to drag him back here out of the way. Go and see if he's got anything for me. And he's got some stun darts, which is nice. Alright, so we're going to cross the map here. And I believe I do kill this guy because the killing animation is so cool and brutal. Look at this uppercut with a blade. Ouch. That's got to suck. So, behind the staircase, which is the original, original one you came down, you're, we're going to move this box right here. Um, you're going to get a th 100 experience for doing this, just for going through the duct. So, um, there it is. So, we're going to climb the ladder. Yeah, I tried using the long range weapon from up here still doesn't make a difference uh, as soon as the first guy hits the floor it's pretty much over so we're going to walk across this beam here I just tried to decide to sprint luckily I made it I thought I was going to fall off a couple of times uh, continue up this one and this will lie into the room that the prisoners are in without going through the door if you go through the door they'll all die um, so this allows you to be able to get into the room Once in the room, grab your darts. 
and head around. We're going to start the hacking process. As you can see, I got detected, but we have, we're pretty good. We got a time frame we got we we, we can uh, try to beat here, which is what I'm gonna try to do when I get get it, and everybody's safe. All right, I broke this this game down into small parts, so I hope that doesn't uh, offend anybody. I don't want you guys to have to watch a 15 minute video and go through a large section of the game when you may only be looking for a small part of it. Um, so if you follow my, my parts, they will leave off right where the last one left off. Um, you won't miss anything. Um, again, I did cut out all the cutscenes just because um, I don't want no spoilers in the storyline for anybody. And this is a, a walkthrough, uh, more or less a tutorial or a guide. Um, so for that reason, I cut out all cutscenes. So here we got two things going on we got a guy here and we got a camera the camera is actually panning towards us if you can see it down there in the mini map this is almost a time preference because um, he's going to sit at the end of the hall for quite a bit so he, the guy's not really worried so as soon as he passes the camera it, notice it's not facing us anymore we're going to go ahead and make a move for it leave him leave the two guys in the room they're facing each other you can't get in there and kill them both undetected check that camera it shouldn't be facing us and we're continuing on the hallway and everything's golden hope you guys appreciated it um stay tuned for more uh walkthroughs as i complete them